Okay, today we're going to talk about a pot in a tree. What size should you put your tree in when you get it? Probably the smallest size for a one gallon would be a three gallon container. You can go to a five if you would like to. First thing you're going to notice is that when you get your tree, the pot that it came in is taller than the container you're going to put it in if you're using a three. They're relatively short. You can get a three and a half that's a little taller. When you pull it out of the pot, you can tell that we use a peat-based mix in most of our trees. Some of it is a pine-based mix, but most of the time it's the peat base. You can shorten it just by crumbling the bottom. You can pull it to one side. I try not to tear up too many roots, try not to damage them. Depending on what type of soil you're going to use, whether you purchase soil from us or you bought soil local, doesn't matter, just whichever you prefer. Uh, the soil that you will get from us is our peat-based mix with a pine-based mix with it. Um, it's pretty good for water retention, but it will dry fast enough. If you're afraid that it's going to hold too much water, uh, you can put a shield over your pot with aluminum foil or some plastic to keep the rain from getting in. Once you get enough soil in your, in your container, um, you can push it down just a little bit. We don't want it packed. We want to leave it aerated. The soil has already got some fertilizer in it if you bought it from us. If um, you want to add a little bit more, that's fine also. Try to fill your container as full as you can just to leave enough room for some water retention. The next question we get asked a lot is, We've got a tall, skinny plant now. What do we do with the plant that tall? If you want it to be tree form, that's wonderful. If you don't want it to be tree form and you want it bushed out at about 20 inches tall, if you snip the top out of it, it will make it branch out. But remember, it's only gonna branch out about four inches below where you snip the top out. So if you want the branches to start lower, you can actually snip it out lower. Now, one thing you can remember also is that up the stem, about every eight inches, there's a ring around the tree. That's your terminal bud growth ring. If you cut it above the growth ring, you're not going to get any buds in that four inch area. So either cut it right at a growth ring or several inches above the growth ring. And there's your other growth ring up there. They're relatively easy to see. This one will make a short, bushy type plant. If you wanted it taller, that's okay also. It's up to you. Thanks for your time.